Hi, today we're going to take a look at how to configure our Salesforce credentials within SnapLogic so you can use that credential to connect to your Salesforce instance. In SnapLogic, a credential is essentially stored in what's called an, uh, an account object. So there are two main ways to create that for mm -hmm. Salesforce. First, you can simply drag and drop a Salesforce Snap onto the canvas and our system will prompt you to enter your credentials by creating an account. Another main way is to create it in the SnapLogic Manager module itself. And we'll take a look at how to create the SnapLogic account in the designer via the Snap right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply drag and drop over a Salesforce read. And once it's drag and dropped onto the canvas, it will give you a prompt and show you a set of existing account credentials you've configured. We're going to pick create a new account and we're going to be creating the Salesforce account option here and after you hit select you'll be prompted with this menu here I can just simply populate all of my credential information based off of uh, the information I may or may not have received from my Salesforce admin I'll just create go ahead and do that once the information is populated you can simply hit the validation button and the system will go ahead and use these credentials to make a connection against this login URL and confirm that the information you populated is validated. And then you can hit apply and now this account is stored. From this point forward, if you select into the Salesforce Snap or drag and drop an additional Salesforce Snap, you can actually navigate into the Accounts tab and see that we, have, we now have a new Salesforce account credential uh, stored in the system. But also note that since we dragged and dropped the snap onto the canvas within um, our own personal project folder, you see that the credential is now created under our own project folder. If you want to create a shared account, um, I advise uh, we do this in the manager itself. Then those accounts will be stored under the shared section. So all of our uh, users can have access to a common account.